Good morning. This is Dorsey Cleary again from Cleary Law Offices. I'm talking about the Constitution and our rights under that document. Uh, today is kind of an a, a unusual topic. It's called immigration. And I think it's a very uh, difficult subject for all of us here in this country because we find that we're faced with maybe millions of people that have walked across our borders. Uh, we don't have any papers. Many of them don't speak our language. And so we have to have a lot of patience in dealing with them. I know the Border Patrol has to have a lot of patience with the millions of people that have now crowded into our country. Uh, section, uh, the Article 1, Section 8 is really the uh, part of the Constitution that controls immigration. Immigration is a right. It's not a right, rather, it's a, it's, a, it's a privilege in our country. Not everybody can come in and claim it, but apparently a lot have. They've walked into our country, uh, no physical exam, a lot of them are ill, a lot of them have no real assets, or uh, they've just walked across the, the border. Uh, the government, the states may not grant citizenship. Only the federal government can. It's really the president under Article 3. He has the authority to do that. Not even Congress can do that. But so we concern ourselves is how do all these people support themselves? Do a lot of them have illnesses? I don't know. They've never been examined. Uh, how do we know any of them have want to do harm to us. We don't know that. There are a lot of criminals that have come across the border. Uh, so I would say that the difficulty with this subject matter, there's very little on the subject that can be uh, discussed because we have so many million, millions of people have come over into our country. So the subject that we have is is under the Constitution, there are citizens, uh, people rather, that are not citizens, that are here, and know what to do with them is the question. Uh, and we don't know how to support them. They do have the right to education. That's, that's the case decisions, that the youngsters can come over here, especially, and, and it's perhaps it's a good idea they can come and get an education. But it's under, under the, the duties to feed them, provide the medical care, there's nothing on that uh, written in the Constitution that's uh, given to us by what people do here out of compassion for non-citizens. So we say to each of us, let's have tolerance as each of these people come into our viewpoint here and say, what can we do for them to help them? But I don't have any answers to the naturalization and to the questions here because it's when you have eight or nine million people that have come across the border with no authority, no questions asked, no intent given whether they come to harm us or don't harm us or what they do for work, uh, it sure beats the heck out of my experiences of what to do. So we have to look to our legislators certainly would look to the president to set some guidelines down for what to do with these people i don't know act out of compassion is my only guidance i can give you because they are human beings they are they're god's people and we know we got to try and do the right thing we can for them but as far as my legal authority i'm not sure there is a lot there all right well thank you very much for this taking these few minutes and I wish you well with dealing with the immigration problem because our country needs a lot of help and how to come to a conclusion on immigrants, especially the children that come across our border. Thank you again.